Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review of the Louis Vuitton Kiragami Pochette or the Kiragami Pouches. So this is a set of three pouches of different sizes. So there's the large one right here, followed by the medium size one, and then this really cute smallest one right here. So I'm going to be talking about how I use these pouches, the wear and tear on them since I've owned them for close to a year at this point, as well as the pros and cons and do I think they're worth it. And also stay till the end because I'm going to show you guys 11 ways that you can use these pouches. So yeah, let's get into this video. Okay, so let's first talk about pricing. So currently the set of three pouches cost 745 US dollars. And when I bought this around a year ago, it cost 715 US dollars. So yes, there's been a price increase of 30 US dollars since then. But honestly, even at 745 US dollars, I do still think that this is quite worth it and quite affordable, I guess, when it comes to small other goods, even from Louis Vuitton. So I did some comparisons between other SLGs they sell in similar sizes. So for this smallest size one, I compared it to their typical card holder. And the typical card holder from Louis Vuitton cost 220 US dollars. And then for this medium size one, I'm comparing it to, for example, their mini pochette, which is 445 US dollars. And then they have the toiletry pouch 15, which is 490 US dollars. And then for this largest kirigami, I'm comparing it to the daily pouch that they sell, which is 745 US dollars. That one is a little bit bigger than this largest Kirigami, or you can compare it to the toiletry 19 as well as the toiletry 26. The dimensions of this large Kirigami is in between those two sizes. So the toiletry 19 is 540 US dollars, and then the toiletry 26 is 580. So if you add up, you know, like comparable size SLGs from Louis Vuitton, you come out to a total of 1,205 US dollars for, you know, a similar set of three SLGs from Louis Vuitton, and that's on the low end. And this only costs 745 altogether. So you are saving $460 by buying this set. And I know it's not, directly comparable because you know there are differences with those SLGs that might suit your lifestyle more than these but just if you needed like a core set of SLGs I do think this is a good way to go so how I use these SLGs is the smallest one I typically use it as a card holder in some of my bags that have a dark colored interior so I have a bag that has a dark blue suede interior and I have another one that has a black suede interior so previously I would just use my usual card holder for it but I am a little bit worried about color transfer even though I've never actually had that issue even using my typical SLGs but just to be safe you know the canvas is so carefree and you don't have to really worry about any color transfer so that's how I use the smallest one and this one does fit, I've tried up to eight credit cards in here or like credit card sized cards. And I think eight is approximately the maximum that could fit in here without it really being jammed. And if you put too much in there, you then have to take out the whole stash of credit cards and filter through it. With eight, I find that you can kind of still slip your hand inside and just take out whichever one you need. So that's the smallest one. And then for this medium sized one, I usually use this as sort of like a cosmetic pouch type thing. So I do have, you know, your typical cosmetic pouch, but that one is actually too big for a lot of my bags. So I've kind of started to use this one just to put like a few, you know, makeup products and that type of thing in here. Currently, I do also keep a spare face mask in here also. And Louis Vuitton does say on their website that this is a good size to use as a passport holder. So I've tried it with two passports inside because 
that's kind of all I have in my household and two fits in here and I think you should be able to at least put a third one in here I'm not sure if you can get away with four but three should definitely fit in here and then for this largest size one this one I have used it as you know like a catch-all in my bag but how I usually use this is as a sort of wristlet or like a wallet on chain type bag and to use this as one of those bags what I did was I actually bought this insert for the large kirigami and I'm not the type of person that usually uses bag inserts I think that they're kind of unnecessary for me and it just makes it so that I have less space in my bags and yes this one when you do use it you will lose some space in the large kirigami pouch I do show both what fits in just the pouch itself as well as what fits with this insert inside the pouch later on in this video so you kind of aren't able to put as much in there but it's not a super big difference now one thing to know about using this insert with the kirigami is because this doesn't directly attach to the inside of the bag it kind of just slots in there and also whatever strap you attach to make it into a bag is actually attached to these two hoops here it makes it so that you kind of have to be careful when you're opening up the pouch just to make sure that you know when you open it the whole kirigami pouch doesn't just slide right off and all you're left with is the insert but what i found is especially when you kind of load up your items into this insert it is quite a tight fit inside the kirigami pouch so let me just quickly show you guys what it looks like in there so this is kind of how it fits inside the pouch so it does become quite a tight fit so i haven't really noticed that i had an issue with the kirigami just sliding right off i mean i do try to be careful with it and i would encourage you to do the same but it's not like a really really big risk if that's something that you're worried about so i actually enjoyed using this bag insert more than i thought that i would and i used to use the pouch that comes with my neverfold quite often as a wristlet but this large kirigami you know along with the insert and also this little chain that i attached to it to make it into a bag because I've had this, I find myself almost never reaching for that pouch anymore because that pouch just doesn't really look that put together. You know, it is a very flat pouch. So whenever I put anything in there, you can just see all the lumps and bumps. And I'm not a big fan of how that looks, but because this is kind of curved on the sides, you know, it's not just like completely flat like that pouch. When I put things in here, it looks a lot better as a bag i find myself just not using that as much but that only happened because you know i bought the insert and also i have you know this wristlet chain as well as i have this crossbody strap to use with it also if it was just the pouch on its own i don't think i would find it quite as functional as I do with all these extra accessories. I've honestly been super impressed with the wear and tear. I was kind of expecting the inside of the pouches to kind of get marked up because it is leather on the inside. So I kind of expected it and not to say that that won't eventually happen, especially on this largest one since it is a light colored interior but for now you know one year in i am quite happy that it at least hasn't been marked up just yet and also i just really love how they have different colored interiors for the three sizes and i also think it's quite smart to make the smallest one the darkest color also because you know for example when you're putting like your keys or your cards or cash and coins in here those things let's be honest it's not the cleanest items so i'm actually really happy that they made the smallest one the darkest color because then it hides you know like dirt and like dust or like whatever so that's actually really great and of course as i mentioned because this is canvas it just 
you know, it doesn't show dirt easily and it's very carefree and you don't really have to worry about it getting like too dinged up really quickly. So for example, I've had my Neverfull for so many years and I really abuse that bag. I don't treat it with the most care whatsoever and the canvas has been great. So I would expect the same with these pieces also. I do have to say, however, that the Kirigami pouches are not perfect. So for example, on this smallest one, I do prefer my card holders to have a little bit more organization to it. So for instance, when you have, you know, like a card holder with multiple slots, it's better for me to use that because I like knowing, you know, like where each card is. With this, it's kind of all lumped together and I have to filter through it, which, you know, sometimes when I'm trying to pay for something really quickly, I don't like to, you know, have to take the time to fuss with my card holder. So that's kind of the con I have with the smallest pouch. This middle size one, in a way, I do prefer my cosmetic pouch because that one has a zipper and I like being able to just reach into my bag, unzip the pouch with it still being inside my bag and just get whatever I need out of it. With this, because there is this snap button closure, I do have to take this whole thing out. And because I do use this with somewhat smaller bags, I do play Tetris a little bit inside my bags just to get everything to fit. So sometimes I find that once I take this out, it is a little bit fussy getting it back into place. So yeah, that's kind of like an issue I have with this one. And then for the largest size one, I kind of wish that this was able to be used in more dressy occasions. And yeah, that's partially my fault because I got it in monogram, which since it is canvas, it is more of a casual thing. I would probably feel differently if I had purchased this in the epi leather, for example. I think that set is also super duper pretty in terms of the color, but I'm not a big fan of how the Louis Vuitton epi leather looks, so I didn't get that one. But overall, I do think this set of Kiragami pouches is a really good purchase. I think, especially considering the price, it actually is probably one of the best SOGs that Louis Vuitton offers and yeah maybe it's not you know like the most perfect in every way possible but honestly I don't think there's any SOG that I own that I don't have things to nitpick about so especially if you know you're trying to start your collection and you just want to have kind of like building blocks in terms of SLGs, I think this is a really good way to go. I also don't think that anyone needs like this crazy large collection of SLGs. I think that this may very well be perfectly enough for you. And of course, you know, like as I did the math before, the pricing actually is really, really great. So even if you want to get, you know, like, a mini pochette later on in the future. With the amount of money you save by getting this set of three pouches, you can take that amount of money and just buy something else with it.
that's it for my review of the Louis Vuitton Kirigami Pochettes. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative and helpful. And if you liked it, please do give this video a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments down below if there's any ways that you use your Kirigami Pochettes or any SLGs that you have that I haven't mentioned earlier in this video. And also if you're wondering if certain things fit into these pouches, let me know and I will try my best to check it out for you guys and see if it fits. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing for new videos every single week. And I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next. So I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.